if you are working with the optical imagery you may already know that cloud is the major enemy for image analyst in this particular video i'm going to solve that problem uh, using google earth engine if you don't know like how to remove the cloud completely from your optical imagery and want to know the process behind it uh, then watch this video till the end so let's get start before starting video i want to share you one thing my channel and lightix shows that more than 90 percent of my viewer haven't subscribed to my channel if you are among those viewer please 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 subscribe to my channel so that i might get motivated to create more and more interesting tutorial also don't forget to hit the bell icon so let's get back to for the video. this particular video i have uh, created this uh, basic code over here in the google earth engine uh, with like landsat 5 7 and 8 data and uh, with my area of interest over in pohara and for this particular purpose so i selected level 2 collection 2 entire one data set i highly recommend you to select this uh, set because uh, this is like atmospheric corrected data set uh, and it has a uh, land surface temperature derived from date data produced by the landsat tm sensor and uh, for the more information about the bands so you can select the bands uh, and by default uh, the band are represented by srb1 srb2 srb3 and so on and here so i simply try to load my landsat 5 data set over period 2005 51 to 2005 uh, 1230 and then uh, the second line of code will filter my cloud coverage uh, with the five percent so to know about like this property cloud cover so you need to check the image properties and then here you see the cloud cover is available in our property that's why i'm using cloud cover and for the sentinel data set this parameter might be different and i'm selecting less than five percent uh cloud coverage image so i most of the case i always try to get minimum cloud as possible and then i filter my bound with aoi and then i map it and clip it to the aoi and here i selected the required bands uh, of course i select b3 b2 and b1 and if i check my 3 to 1 those are the rgb data set red green and blue and uh, after that i get take the median of that image and then selected those bands and then i simply added that into the map and then i simply center my map into my area of interest with zoom level of 12 and then i also wrote the code to like export the data set but of course you you might not need this and if i run this even with the like five percent cloud you can clearly see that i have some some of the portion are still like covered with uh, the cloud right so the easiest way to like remove this cloud is to like uh, to write the another chunk of code with like max landsat clouds uh, function so don't worry about this function you will get uh, the code in the video description so here we, what this function do is it will try to select the uh, qa pixel uh, which is some kind of band and then uh, if the cloud bit is three and then bit is four uh, which is cloud shadow then it will try to max those things and then uh, simply remove it from our imagery and then uh, later on we update the max and then return that max right so this is simply function to like max the cloud coverage from our image so simply if i uncomment this line so what it will do is it will map uh, over all the images and then it will try to like uh, 
take the max which is like not cloud covered image and then uh, it will simply return us the cloud free image and if i hit run then you might see this so now uh, most of the like portion of cloud is gone but still i have this kind of uh, shadow right but uh, like removing this kind of little bit is might be tricky and then it might not be possible but uh, one thing of course you can do is like you try to increase the cloud cover um, it doesn't matter because we have our max function so you can try to like uh, make it for example 80 80 percent cloud coverage and so that we select the more images and then our uh, our cloud coverage will be uh, our cloud like uh, will be completely max what this function what it will do is like before that if i say only five and then i try to print out my data set uh, okay let me show you one more thing very quickly so if i say my data set then i have only five images over this period which has cloud less than five percent and in all those five images uh, it it might be like uh, this area is always uh, covered by cloud this particular is r right so if i say uh, if i increase this to 80 percent and hit run then i'll get like 10 images right this time i get 10 images and uh, within 10 images and some of the images might have like fully cloud free data set that's why that's how it try to like remove those area and then try to add add the cloud free image from background so that's how we remove cloud in landsat 5 data set uh, so yeah it, it sounds like fun because uh, uh, even though we are like increasing the cloud cover of our image but actually we are masking those cloud which is uh, really interesting for me and uh, if, still if you weren't like able to like remove the cloud freely then you can play with your date for example if you say 0 1 then uh, your cloud might be still max with the 5%. I'm not sure, but yeah, it's still here. But the end of thing is like simply you can play with your date. So for now, I'll just keep it as a 5. And uh, similarly, for the Landsat, the same function work for Landsat 7 as well. So if I try to hit run, then... Uh, my uh, image is look like this but of course if you are familiar with landsat 7 data set in landsat 7 we have like uh, this scan line error right so which has like no value uh, between two adjacent parts so it's it's simply empty right so one easiest way to like remove this scan line error is like simply if you change it to 80 percent then uh, you'll get more images and then uh, some of the part will be automatically adjusted blocked right but uh, of course uh, one thing you might have noticed that with uh, the landsat 7 uh, it's a little bit like hard to remove both like scan line error and then the cloud uh, i also don't have any solution for that if you have any just uh, put me in the comment section below and i'll check them out and yeah so there is like no way to like remove both cloud uh, i mean cloud and then the scan line error in landsat 7 sometimes yeah it's it's really tricky yeah okay and for the landsat 8 uh landsat 8 also we can use the same function uh, so for example uh i i forgot that i whether I have shown this three and four value or not. So I'm going to show it anyway. So in the Landsat 8, if I check the uh, like uh, QA, QA pixel, so this is the band we are selecting, right? And then here, if it the value is three, then it's cloud. 
and then if the value is 4 then it's cloud shadow similarly you can remove uh, cirrus as well right and then if you don't want snow in your uh, area of interest simply change value uh, 3 4 to 5 or whatever you whatever value you want right so simply uh, simply we are removing for now cloud and then the cloud shadow right okay so if i run this function then it should be able to like uh, remove all the cloud from my imagery right so yeah so yeah it's working great right but let's say if i say five percent then sometime i won't get imagery uh, enough imagery right but this time i am still getting uh, the imagery so which is good but the yeah so the basic way to remove the cloud is like you can play around with your cloud cover and then you can also play around with your date and also like uh, if you want another thing to max then uh, you can play around with this function right so yeah that's how you remove the cloud and then the scanline error in the landsat imagery and of course if you want to like download the product then uh, you can download it from tax manager and then uh, you can provide the name of the tax and then the file name dot tiff oh, you don't need to provide the tiff it, it will be automatically GeoTiff format right and hit run it will save inside your uh, google drive okay so that's all about landsat let's go back uh, let's go to the sentinel image now all right so for the sentinel 2 imagery as well i have wrote the simple like demo prototype code and then i'm going to like explain uh, every line here so for uh, first thing first so i'm selecting the sentinel 2 msi uh, level 1c image uh, which is a uh, as to harmonize data set it's available from 2015 6 to uh, current date and if you check the bands this time we have b1 b2 b3 b5 and so on and uh, right now we are going to use qa60 bitmax to like max the cloud and then the cirrus uh, in our imagery okay so first thing is so if i try to like run this function and uh one thing you might have noticed that uh the here we have different property cloudy pixel percentage right so if i check the property image property then uh it's the property we are using cloudy pixel percentage instead of cloud cover in landsat right so we first try to filter it out uh, with uh, less than 10 and then uh, try to run it now it seems like we don't have any imagery available with less than 10 percent cloud right and let's say 20 and this time we have only one image available and it has so many clouds right so yeah even with the like 20 percent cloud we get so much of cloud in our area of interest right so the easiest way to remove is as i shared previously so we wrote the cloud as to max as to cloud function and then uh filter out it using a qa60 band and then um, so as i showed you previously if the value is 10 and 11 we try to max those things so it's right here okay so 10 is opaque cloud and then 11 is serious right so we try to remove those and we simply max it and then if i say if i uncomment this and uh, if i run this then our image is uh, maybe but still we are getting so much of cloud and then uh, if it has like high confidence then it removed the cloud so you can clearly see the background image over here right this holes 
that means it completely removed the cloud and then it did not find anything to fill between those gap right because since we have only one imagery available that's why we try to change it to 80 percent and then hit run and let's see how it goes and this time yeah it is like able to remove the cloud and then it is like giving us the cloud free images but of course we have a little bit of like disturbance a uh, very thin cloud right so it is still like uh, still might be a problem but in comparison to previous imagery so it's really great so that means uh, by only like changing cloudy pixel percentage of ratio so we are able to like uh, remove the cloud since we have like 73 images available with a cloud less than 80 percent that's how we like replace those gaps or uh, replace those uh, cloudy uh, like uh, cloudy pixels right so if i share you the thing like uh, here also i selected 432 which is red green and blue band and then 8 is the nir band and i center object to 12 and then i exported image as well if you run it so you'll save it in the google drive and yeah that's all so before i forgot i want to mention about the other thing as well so for example i'm writing rgb visualization parameter over here so if i remove this visualization parameter and hit run then you might get the very dark image with uh, which is like very hard to read right so this kind of image so the reason we are getting this image is like uh, it's it's simply the uh, uh, due to like not normalization so basically the values goes from 0 to 65535 which is i think 16 band uh, value right but of course we don't have those ranges so i try to stretch it uh, within 98 percentile so that's how we get the little bit clear image right or of course you can uh, like visualize based on like uh, sigma which is a uh, standard deviation as well and uh, oh it looks really weird so maybe yeah you can try this kind of visualize of course this kind of like uh, uh, ranges only applicable for the visualization don't worry about too much about those ranges and if you like the like visualization parameter simply import it and if i import it then by default it will be like image fees parameter and i rename it to the rgb fees right that's how we visualize the image correctly let me yeah yes right so yeah so that's how we like select sorry not here all right so yeah so that's how we remove the cloud in the both sentinel and lancet imagery one thing which is really important for me uh, what i learned is right uh, the uh, cloud pixel percentage or the cloud coverage percentage so even uh, though i have large amount of cloud coverage i am able to like filter out my cloud using this function so uh, in order to like get the really nice imagery i highly recommend you to like use high uh, cloud percentage imagery and then mac max them out and sometime even if you like try to filter uh, through the metadata uh, or the time uh, even if you weren't like able to get the cloud free images then there is like no solution i feel like that's what it is but uh, yeah this is the like general practice for like removing cloud so i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching